G'day guys, welcome to a new episode. Today, I've got a fair bit on my back. I'm carrying a fair bit of weight. I feel like a semi-trailer right now. I've got one crab pot, fishing rod, hand spear, a lot of stuff actually. You can see I'm down at the mud flats. Today I'm gonna challenge myself. I didn't bring any food apart from a lemon, some seasoning, and a couple of lollies in case I get the munchies tonight. But other than that, I've really got to depend on myself catching my own food, fish, crab, I don't even know, shark. But yeah, it's a complete challenge today. I've never done this before, oh, an all-nighter anyway. And yeah, I'm just, I know a couple good spots down the river to camp. I'm gonna check them out as I walk down. Hopefully I can get there soon because this is heavy. I just wanna take it off my back. And <laughs> just, ah, oh, yeah, it's heavy. Anyway, I'm gonna get a move on so I can get there quicker. And hopefully you can set up camp and get something to eat because I'm hungry. No lunch whatsoever. How's this mad little spot? Right on the river. I reckon I will not camp here because I want to go further down. <laughs> it is a sick little spot, but I definitely would camp there. wonder what that is. Kangaroo, maybe? If anyone knows, hit the comments. You guys know I reply, so... Yeah, let us know. Oh, reached my destination. Finally. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna set up camp right here on the riverbank. There's actually a little fire pit that obviously has been used for ages. It's three o'clock now, I haven't eaten for a few hours. So I need to get ready. I'm gonna chuck my crab pot in, then go look for some food. Because I'm getting hungry, guys. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go look for some shellfish because I need some food. So maybe oysters, mussels, cockles, anything. I just need some sort of food to know that I can kind of eat tonight. How's this? I full found a little river. I need some food. Just looking for a few oysters. One. These aren't massive, but they're gonna have to do. We don't have any food right now. Yeah, nice. So I've got a few oysters. That one's dead. That one's alive. That one's alive. Oh, there are a couple there. It's quite a good little feed, actually. Might keep a couple of them as well. That, that is a nice oyster, that one. One of them is dead. Yeah, not bad. Now I've got a bit of food and I'm not gonna starve to death out here. I'm gonna set up a little camp. So what I brought with me was a $10 Kmart tent. Now this is one of the main challenges I'm doing today is surviving in this little tent. It doesn't have any like protection really. So if it rains, I'm stuffed, but there's no rain forecast. So it should be all right. But yeah, it's this tiny little tent you like give to your kids to play in during the day, but <laughs> it's worth ten dollars exactly. And yeah, I'm putting it to the test basically. So let's set up camp. What a setup. <laughs> so I've got a little yoga mat, it's my mattress. I don't know what I use, a jumper, towel or something, wetsuit as my pillow. Got a little sleeping bag. It's boiling hot in here at the moment though. I don't even fit in this freaking thing. <laughs> but yeah, so take you for a little walk around. So I brought this little stove. That sits on there. That can go for about three hours, supposedly. And it's a tiny little camping stove. So I brought some small saucepans for that. In my bum bag, I've got a few things. Zip ties, crab measure, lollies, mouth mount. In here, this is where all my cords are. So I've got GoPro charger, portable charger. This is the best thing ever invented. This is a, what's that, anchor. This can last probably, I think it's about eight charges, full charges of an iPhone, which means for GoPro, it's like probably about 10. And you've got two extra batteries for my GoPro. They're fully charged. I've got cords, a couple extra batteries for other things. Um, my torch is somewhere. I think I brought my torch. I hope I brought my torch. <laughs> See, 
is really like no protection from the rain. It's about a mil thick. But I want to challenge myself, so I'm keen. I'm going to chuck the fish rod out for a bit, check my crab pot. Just stuff around for a little bit and see what happens. Oh shit. Could tighten that up. Just gonna flick for a flat edge for a little bit. Never know what you might get. This is more of a bait rod, but still, still might get a flatter. Yeah, I don't know. Anything? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I could go. Too windy to tell what's high and what's low. Oh, that's hot, but. You can see it's boiling here. They shouldn't take too long. Once they start opening, they're gonna be really nice. They're only small. But there's a lot of protein in that. Mmm, they're so good cooked. If you haven't tried oysters cooked, definitely try them, even if you hate them, because oysters cooked is completely different to them raw. They are really nice. My last oyster. Absolute doozy. Mmm, that was so good. <laughs> Not enough for dinner, so I'm gonna have to catch something. That was really nice. Mm. I got a plan. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. In the undies. <laughs> Woo. Holy shit. <laughs> Get higher, yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. Alright guys, it's about 6.30 and I really need some dinner. So, there's that little river this way. I'm just going to wade through it. The tide's gone down. And hopefully, there's some sort of something I can eat. If worse comes to worse, I'll just... I'll have to grab some more oysters and little snails and stuff to eat. 
but hopefully I can get a crab or a fish or something. I've brought the pole spear. I'll be able to shoot it if there is something good, like a fish. I'm not feeling that hopeful about it, but I'm not going to give up just yet. Maybe you see it in the triangle. Wait. See, we've got no legs on this side. He must have been in a fight with another crab. I'll let him swim for another day. Good luck, my friend. My first thing I. Oh no! Okay. No, I missed it. No, no, that was dinner right there. That was dinner. Very close high. Oh no! No! Oh no! That sucks. That is a nice sunset. Have a go at that. That's some gnarly blood. Oh! <laughs> Oh, she's bubbling. There's a fog on the water. Oh, it's a bit cold this morning. It's 5.30, guys. Let's go. Not a breath of wind right now. That looks amazing. This thing I got right there, this is our only chance. Oh no, I missed it. Oh shit, there it is. Got it. Got it. Yes. I got it. Oh, yes, yes. There's a straight kill shot as well, straight through the brain. I am stoked with that. It's definitely enough to feed me for breakfast. I did miss dinner, I didn't have much of a dinner. Those oysters were enough to kind of, I don't know, give me a bit of energy. They weren't enough to fill me up, but I definitely got a bit of energy from them because they pack a punch, those little oysters. But this will definitely fill me up. This is a lot more substantial. I don't like killing stingrays that much, but when you're out here, you gotta eat. They're actually, like, they're pretty nice. Just wash these off. So I just got a bit of butter. Yeah. Be a bit generous. Just put a bit of spice, lemon and garlic herb spice on the stingray. And you 
can cook a couple pieces at a time. Bit of stingray for breakfast. Never had that before. It's real stringy. There's one bit of cartilage, but everything else is really nice actually. Doesn't have a very fishy flavour. It has a. I'm not a different flavour, but it's pretty nice. Really good. Oh, good job. You guys, my lure. Woo. I'm heading back. I'm gonna check that crab hut on the way back. If there's nothing in there, I'll probably grab it, take it home, and we'll just go from there. I probably couldn't have picked the worst time to walk back. Dead high tide. It's gonna be a wet walk home, but that's all right. Well, guys, that's it for another episode. Didn't go as well as I hoped, but the $10 Kmart tent still went pretty well. I got a feed. I didn't starve to death, which is good. And yeah, so it was fun. Definitely a few fun days off work. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week, hopefully with a huge mud crab in my hands. Ew. Oh my God, guys, I'm back down at the monster mud crabs hole. I saw the biggest mud crab inside it.